Hello my Aries and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie and of course I'm Debbie. Now I'm reading for December 29th through January 4th. Now I've done an overview, can't remember what I called it. I know I should be looking, right? Um, but take a look because there's a lot of things going on in those skies. Now I um, also wanna re want to remind you that these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now, my Aries, a lot of interesting stuff for you. I, I get, I don't know if it's because I have so many friends that are Aries that I just wish wonderful things for you, but I get, you know, I get kind of that world card energy going on. I get the page of earth energy going on for you, which is all about new money. Um, I, I, you know, the world card is very successful energy. So I feel like this is a, you know, if you haven't been seeing the successes that you've been wanting to see, I feel like this could be the turnaround for you, okay? And if you have been seeing the successes, then this could be a new leap into the next level of success, okay? So you might be leveling up my, you might be leveling up my Aries. Okay, Queen of Gabriel, your energy popping out. It is also reverse, a really strong message for you. Here we go. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do you have for our Aries? Here and here and here. Okay, let's see what we've got. Reversed, strong message. First card. This is the one that pops. A really strong message. The Queen of Gabriel. Queen's underlying energy is water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer and Scorpio are the strong ones right now. Uh, I'm sorry, Cancer and Pisces. Scorpio's energies are, are lessening. They're the, um, the sting of the scorpion is getting, is, is, is getting less and less and less. So water energy, fluid, emotional, very spiritual. Gabriel is fire energy, your energy, Leo and Sagittarius. You and Sagittarius have a lot going on right now. Um, especially in relationships, um, you know, what is it, Venus and Mars are in Sagittarius right now, the power couple. Uh, so there's a lot of, um, you know, very fiery energy going on, very, very, a lot of energy that is all about potential, okay, potential, um, mass potential happening for you. Again, uh, fire is um, committed, it is passionate it is consuming. Now, the Queen of Gabriel, she's larger than life, but she goes after what she wants. She, you know, she is somebody that just says, hey, we live and we live once, and I'm going to live my life the best I can. I am going to be the best version and the best life I can be. So, passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So next card, the Five of Raphael. So the Five of Raphael has a melancholy vibe right now. Raphael is that water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Fluid, emotional. I'm doing this on the night of the full moon. So this is a time to release, relinquish, but then also to request. But this is where you let go. This is where you kind of say, I've done, you know, I've, I, I've gone through what I've gone through. Um, it's brought me to this point. I've lived, I've loved, I've laughed, I've also cried. But again, it's brought me to this point. So five has some changes, positive or negative. Raphael, again, emotional energy and spiritual energy. This is, again, I, I get this melancholy. I get this, I'm okay with who I am. I, it's brought me to this point, and I need, you know, I need to move forward. I cannot stay in this I cannot stay in this space anymore. I have to let go and I have to move forward. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. And the thing about it is, it, you know, some people want to make you feel guilty for moving on. I mean, you know, I'm not saying that, okay, if you've hurt somebody and you can make, um, and make amends, make amends, okay? If you've hurt somebody, or if somebody's hurt you, um, you know, and to and to make amends would put you, or to you know, to try to create and create a bridge would put you in some sort of danger or the other. Then don't. You don't have to. You don't have to face. It. When I talk about facing fears, it doesn't mean that you have to face uh, a physical fear. Okay. 
The five of them of Raphael is about is about loving and letting go. It's about forgiving. It does not mean forgetting. I don't know what that is, but some people want to make you feel guilty and say, no, 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 you have to carry the burden with you. You know what? Uh, screw that. <laughs> screw that, okay? Yeah. Queen of Gabriel. Live large, okay? Do any, go after what you want. Next card, reversed. The world. I told you I was getting a lot of world energy for you. So we have a 21, a 2, choices, decisions, one new beginning. The world is the uh, is the is a success card. Okay, is the compliment is the is the um, you know everything that you have done has come to this point. You know you have come to the end of one journey. Now it's time to rest a little bit and then get ready to go again on a next journey. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's like you know you enjoy the successes. Enjoy the successes. Don't feel guilty about being successful. Don't feel guilty that maybe you made some better choices or maybe you were lucky or maybe you had blessings that other people were not open to. And I'm not saying that they weren't deserving. I'm just saying maybe they weren't open or, or maybe maybe it was karma. You know what? Things happen. And again, it says everything, everything happens for a reason. Don't feel guilty about being blessed. A bit, and, and two, remember, and when you're blessed, you are able to bless others. That's where that queen of um, earth or the queen of abundance comes in. A very happy ending coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So remember, you know, don't, don't feel guilty about being blessed. And again, the same thing too is, you know, if you watch the beginning, don't be the miser. You can all, you know, and what I mean by beginning, if you watch the overview, don't be the miser. Bless others. Bless others as you are blessed. Here we go. Let's see. Higher power. Holy Spirit. What else can you say? Or what else do you want to say to our Aries? What else for our Aries? What else for our Aries? Here we go. She has been popping up all over the place. But you saw, I shuffled. This is the queen of abundance. This is the queen of earth. And as she is blessed, you can she can bless others. She takes care of herself, she can take care of so she can take care of others. Queen's underlying energy is water, abundance is earth energy, and that is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, money, job, career. Jupiter goes into Taurus. Jupiter is in Taurus. It go, it is stationary right now and it will be going direct. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. This situation involves a person, possibly you, who's down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. So do not, don't feel guilty. As you are blessed, you are able to bless others. Look at it that way. And she has been popping up a whole lot. So if you cross-watch, and she comes into that crosswatch video, then know that that message is very strongly yours. Okay, let's see inspirational wisdom from angels and fairies. Let's see what else we might have here for my Aries. Here we go. What else do we have for Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. Winter fairy. Very pretty. Now is the time to move your thinking onto a higher level. Just what I was saying. You are equipped to do more than you have contemplated, and you will succeed. I love that. I love that. Okay. Crystal or energy for my Aries, and then I'm going to do the angel answers. You can, you know, that's that's a little bit more for fun. Then let's see what we've got here. Crystal or energy for Aries. What would be helpful for my Aries? You will succeed. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty, my Aries. As you are blessed, bless others. And then more blessings. That's how that all works. And then more blessings come your way. Here we go. Blue Kyanite. Connecting with animals. Telepathic ability. Finding your true path. Finding clarity. Blue Kyanite. I don't... 
have any blue kyanite here. Oh my goodness. I have all my, uh, a lot of my crystals are actually at my booth, so. But I do have some here. Just amazing. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. There's an ant. Oh, we got one. Okay. <laughs> you have your question? Because this popped up this way. Here we go. We'll turn it over. It is reversed a year from now. Does any of that make sense, my Aries? Did it help you at all? Like I said, don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Okay. Happy New Year to you, my Aries. Thank you so much for all of your support, for all your, for watching me. I really appreciate you, and I want just wonderful, wonderful things to happen for us all. Now, remember, if you're watching, you know, regardless, do the <laughs> like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. It helps. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. As always, though, my Aries, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.